This rooster refused to sleep in the hen house. Then his owners discovered the distressing reason. Night can be a terrifying time for roosters. Not only is it dark and cold, but they also face threats from all sorts of predators. So when one cockerel refused to sleep in his hen house, his actions confused his owners. But when the true story behind the mystery was eventually revealed, it would break their hearts. Poodle Roo was living in California at Apricot Lane Farms. There, the rooster was supposed to be head of the flock at the organic farm, but the cockerel simply wasn't like other male chickens. Roosters are meant to be the confident protectors of the flock, farm owner John Chester told the Huffington Post in June 2015. But no rooster is a match for what lurks at night. However, rather than return to the safety of his coop, when it got dark, Poodle Roo would take his chances out in the fields. Not only is the coop nice and warm when temperatures plummet overnight, it keeps chickens safe from predators. Foxes, raccoons and even pet cats will eat chickens if given the opportunity. So to avoid attacks, the birds tend to sleep in hen houses. Poodle Roo's owners were then very concerned that he'd decided to flee the nest. As a result, they would arrange a search party every night to locate the rooster on the farm. Then, once the worried owners had found the cockerel, they would return him to the safety of the coop in the hope that he would stay there until morning. After a while, farm personnel decided to remove Poodle Roo from the flock entirely. They thought that the rooster might be more happy if he has his own space at night. And so he went to live all alone in the farm's barn. Luckily, this seemed to do the trick. Poodle Roo seemed comfortable enough with his new life in the barn. However, his owners couldn't understand why he had such a problem sleeping in the coop with the other birds. Hoping that the cockerel was over his issues then, Poodle Roo's owners reintroduced him to the flock. The real concern was, why had he not been returning to the safety of the coop? Chester explained in a story for Oprah Winfrey's own network. So, after a few months, we decided to give life in the coop another try. So one night, while the rest of the chickens were sleeping, Chester returned Poodle Roo to the coop. That way, there was more chance that the other roosters would accept him. But things didn't quite go to plan. At some point in the night, the other cockerels attacked Poodle Roo. Staff found him severely injured and in need of desperate care. The other roosters teamed up on him, Chester revealed. He had lost way too much blood. It was a heartbreaking discovery for the staff on the farm, but they had no time to sit and wallow on what had just happened. Instead, they placed the ailing rooster on a pile of towels and sat him under a warm light. We felt terrible about our decision, a devastated Chester admitted. All we could do now was focus on keeping him warm and pray that he wouldn't give up. Miraculously, Poodle Roo pulled through. He healed remarkably fast, Chester confirmed, but he still seemed so lonely, although we may have solved the mystery behind what happened in the coop. After a thorough investigation, farm staff discovered that Poodle Roo was partially blind and also deaf. Given his diminished senses, they could now understand why he thought sleeping by himself in the field was his safest option. At a loss as to what to do with the rooster, Chester decided to keep him in the barn. That's where staff at the farm treated other injured animals, and it was there that Poodle Roo really came into his own. When confronted with another sick chicken, Poodle Roo would make it his business to help them. He would be at their side every shaky step they took, and he even showed them how to survive life on the farm. After all, he knew better than anyone how tough the place could be. He even befriended a lonely barn cat, Chester revealed in an astonishing film about Poodle Roo's life. He knew what it was like to feel beat up and alone. But he didn't let that turn him bitter, he used it to make himself better. Now that Poodle Roo had dedicated his life to helping others, he was able to find some purpose. And with that came a newfound confidence in himself. It didn't seem to matter that his flock had rejected him because deep down the rooster seemed to know just how special he was. In fact, it soon became clear that he was an invaluable asset to the farm. He went far beyond what one would expect from a partially blind and deaf little rooster. Chester said, on Apricot Lane Farms, Poodle Roo has become the barn nurse. So although Poodle Roo spent most of his life misunderstood, he has now found his calling. For the rest of his days, he will provide support for other animals that are feeling down and out on the farm. And with Poodle Roo by their side, hopefully they will follow his footsteps and find their true purpose in life. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends below.